This video demonstrates how to update your Pool Water Lab via Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi updates are significantly quicker compared to Bluetooth due to the higher data transfer rates that Wi-Fi offers. While Bluetooth provides a convenient way to connect devices without wires, it is generally slower and can be susceptible to interference. While Bluetooth updates take about 12 minutes, a Wi-Fi update takes only 1 to 2 minutes. First, install the app by going to the Getting Started with the Tester section and downloading the LabCom app from the provided link. Choose your language and select the device, in this case, the water tester. Although this stage of the app setup also provides helpful tips on using the app effectively, we'll skip over these details in this video to maintain our focus on specific topics, mainly updating the device via Wi-Fi. Press Continue. Then, navigate to the Bluetooth menu. Additionally, you need to activate Bluetooth on the tester itself. To enable Bluetooth, you need to quickly double-click the Bluetooth button on the device. If an image of a phone paired with the Pull Water Lab icon appears on the screen, it signals that Bluetooth was not activated likely because the double-click on the Bluetooth button wasn't performed quickly enough. This visual cue serves as an immediate indication that the activation attempt was unsuccessful, prompting a need to try the action again with faster clicks to ensure proper connectivity. Should this occur, press the zero button to return to the previous menu. When zero appears on the screen, perform a very quick double-click on the Bluetooth button once more. A green Bluetooth icon should then light up in the upper left corner of the screen. Now, press Scan in the app and it should locate the Pull Water Lab. Before updating, the device may be identified as Pull Lab on the system or app. However, after the update is completed, it will be recognized under a new name, either as Water Tester or Pull Water Lab. Select Water Tester to connect. The device will then inquire if you wish to update via Bluetooth. This option is indeed possible, and we have explained how to execute it in previous videos. If you select Yes, the update will begin via Bluetooth and take approximately 12 minutes. However, since we do not require this now, select No. Next, we need to input the Wi-Fi data. Click the wrench icon to open the settings menu where you can enter your login and password. This menu provides access to various configurable options, allowing you to manage network settings, including entering your Wi-Fi credentials to ensure the device can connect to the internet securely. Input your login and password, and then press send to device. You can either enter the data manually, or if you have quick access to Wi-Fi, simply scan the QR code. Wait until the green banner vanishes, indicating that the login and password have been successfully saved to the Pool Water Lab tester's memory. To verify the Wi-Fi connection, press the Bluetooth Wi-Fi button once on the device. This action initiates a check that tests whether the device is successfully connected to your Wi-Fi network. By pressing this button, the device attempts to communicate with the network and any feedback, such as connection status or error messages, will be displayed on the device's screen. If you see error, E401, it means there was an error with the login or password input. Let's rectify this by re-entering the login and password and then sending them to the device again. Wait for the green banner to disappear. Press 0 to go back, and then press the Bluetooth Wi-Fi button once for reconnection. Wait for the connection to establish. This process may take a few moments as the device communicates with the network to secure a stable and reliable Wi-Fi connection.
we observe that the tester is connected to Wi-Fi and requires an update. Use the up and down buttons to decide whether to proceed with updating the tester. However, we always recommend keeping your pool water lab updated. Press OK button to confirm. The pool water lab will update and reboot within one minute and will then be ready for use. The device has successfully completed its update and has automatically restarted. This restart is a normal part of the update process, allowing the new firmware to fully integrate and initialize. Let's power it on again. We can now see firmware version 2.09, confirming that the update process was executed correctly. Pull water lab, perfect water, perfect moments, test, trust and dive in.